You want a plastic one or a metal one? Yeah, the big red one. You got it. <laughs> wow, this is wild. <laughs> yeah, <isn't it? laughs> Go figure that a swarm would come to a to a uh, uh, <laughs> I know. You should have seen when they came up. It was just like a tornado. Wow. Of it was... That's incredible. Yeah, you see him. Look at that. He's pulling them right off and. Now, did he did he transplant a, a, a new queen in he's, there? No, no, that he'll do that in a couple weeks. Oh, okay. But he's going to take the existing queen and put it in, correct? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's going to try and try and get her, so to speak. Yeah. All right. That's what I said. These are greater. Go with my car. They're going to live in there. A, they love it in there. Look at all those babies. This is crazy. Wow. He's not even getting any gloves on. No, he doesn't wear gloves typically, he said. Wow. Well, and right now they're pretty docile because they they eat before they swarm. Oh, okay. They take the honey with them oh. to create the new hive. Keep oh, talking. Okay. So, uh, Alan, you want to give a narrative to yeah. this? I mean, so they're they're pretty docile in terms of how they would normally be. Not oh, that they're all, you know ever super aggressive, but again, they're. I wouldn't assume they'd be real happy if you up there messing. No, but again, they're. They're full, and right. they don't sting real well when they've, oh, okay. when they've got a belly full of... She's, she's got your scoop if you need it. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tossed it up there. Thanks, Juanita, for getting that. And so he's using the brush as not to disturb the bees that much. Correct? Yeah, it's just a, a, it's a, it's a, right. It doesn't it's a hurt a little them, softer you know, to him. Because uh, those bristles are pretty soft. And less likely to get stung. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that's true. Very too. calm you and very. Run right there. <laughs> Likes my head. So <laughs> <laughs> now, what is he spraying on there? Sugar syrup. So he's spraying okay. sugar syrup on there. Okay. And uh, keeping them fed, keeping them happy. Put this on YouTube. Yeah, totally. We should. Earth Day 2009, <laughs> Glory B, this founder. Is yes, it's awesome. <laughs> this is Dick Taransky, the owner of Glory B Foods, has actually on, got a swarm that came in on Earth Day 2009 and has caught, caught themselves in uh, our actual local tree in our parking lot. And the owner is now uh, transplanting those bees into a hive uh, on Earth Day. And uh, the process he's going through right now is uh, trying to capture the queen and put the queen in the hive uh, by using a method of uh, sugar syrup water. Uh, correct? Yeah. Um, and by doing that, it makes what, what is the syrup? What does that do? Well, it's just a food they can eat and they'll, they're going to be focused on. <laughs> this is six years I haven't seen something like this yet. <laughs> uh, this might be a first on Glory Bee property in 33 years. So wow. <laughs> How awesome. So the, yeah, so the queen's there. So they've swarmed. The queen, Mark? The queen's left. They've taken the honey from the you hive and swarmed to create a new hive. Basically. Basically. There's, there's no source to go down. I think like we should have detector. something on it at least a little bit. Thanks. So, I should check our hives over there make sure it's not one of ours. <laughs> yeah, he said it's too big to be one, but we we were kind of joking about that and thinking that too. But we're recapturing it. You know, because the hive, the the <laughs> hive, uh, the package bees lose. You know, they lose population the first 21 days because it takes 21 days to uh, for an egg to become a, a, a full-grown bee. Mm. So. The, when you start out with 3,500 bees, you end up with, you know, maybe a thousand before right. you start building the colony back up again or whatever, so, or 2,000 or whatever, so.
Yeah. And ultimately, the sugar syrup too, you know, keeping them occupied until he can for sure get the clean. Right. Yeah. Oh, likes your camera, Michelle. <laughs> She was pretty brave. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what she said. She said, she said next time. She said next time she's wearing a suit. Yeah. Well, she had black pants on too. I'm like, I didn't say anything. Wow. Now, Dick, are you trying to figure out where the queen is or what? I'm gonna get a little bit closer here. Now the purpose of what Dick has done here is he's actually put the beehive closer to the tree. By putting it closer to the tree, they're hoping that the queen will actually uh, accumulate inside of the box and, be, and be, uh, make that their new home. And so that's kind of what the, the purpose of the putting the hive right next to the swarm. So that's what they're hoping will happen. And they got sugar water in there, so. I would give it a, I'd give it a good chance. Quite a bit of shade in there already. Actually, the majority is there. It's getting some time. Scout people tell us. There's a time frame that where they will decide, hey, I don't want to go here. Right. And then just every one of them will just take off in a, in a cloud and just leave. <laughs> you know, but find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dick, I'm going to have sugar in 